The commercial features a gray-haired male mechanic working <laughs> on a Harley bike before three men are shown drinking the beer. Like, they're just throwing everything at the wall. One detail at a time. Limited edition Budweiser Harley Davidson cans. For those who give everything to their craft. This butt's for you. He looks yeah. like he's using sweat to clear his motorcycle. Oh, working so hard. I just need my bud. Those who give everything to their craft. Honestly, this commercial might be more homoerotic than anything Dylan ah, I got to turn did. it on with it. I was yeah. just like thinking like, oh, yeah, tell me more about what you're going to do with the motorcycle and Budweiser. Exactly. Like you got the cans splashing splash the and, and the wife. beer. <laughs> And a guy wiping himself. Oh, oh for the real man. For those who give everything oh, yeah. to their craft. Oh. This bud's for you. Oh, yeah. This is for you. Hey, bud. <laughs> hey, bud, give me a hand. Hey, bud, meet me out back. That was very YMCA. Uh, the only thing missing is a mustache. I know. Gave a mustache and a police guy. <laughs> oh, my God. That's so forced again. Honestly. Stop doing it. You know what? Just make an animation. I've do seen... like, like a, the insurance companies do. Do like a low-budget animation that nobody would give a fuck about. Or, and forget or... about the message. Forget about make a stand. Or just like stop <laughs> trying to do these over-the-top things to rescue the brand maybe just like quietly just let people buy the beer quiet stop quit trying so hard <laughs> you know and just like maybe in a year people will have forgotten a little bit not for bud life and maybe budweiser people will be like oh you know budweiser is good it is refreshing because like every time you do this you get back in the news and everyone's like oh yeah they're trying to win us back because they fucked up with the dylan mulvaney thing maybe you got a rice oh yeah oh god it's say, oh yeah this is for the guys who sweat with men, <laughs> this is the mechanic who's twisting his wrench. <laughs> oh uh, yeah, this bud's for you, Ooh. pal. We yeah. won't tell anybody your secret. <laughs> your secret <laughs> that you like Budweiser yeah. light. Wink. Oh yeah, you know they could be cold for gay, like in, the, in those red red states. Going to be like, do you like Budweiser wet, uh, r light or Budweiser normal? The person's like, I like the light. And the yeah. person's like, oh, yeah, let's meet you in the bathroom, but. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> this bud's for you guys. A... <laughs> this bud's for you guys that like to go up into the mountains with other men. <laughs> <laughs> but and why is our light? And have a secret romance. This bud's for you. Um, oh, it's just they, they, they're getting they, 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 they've lost the plot, so to speak. Harley's okay, so they've tried camo, they've tried uh, you know, war, they've tried militias. They should get that oath keepers guy that was just sentenced to 18 years in jail. Get him. Here's what you're gonna do you're gonna either get the oath keepers guy who's going to, with the eye patch who's going to jail for 18 years for the January 6th uh insurrection, or pay Trump, honestly. Cut a massive check to Donald Trump and he will bring Bud Light, make it great again. I really, because, you know, when, on our video that we put up when we made fun of the camo can, make a red can. A lot of people were saying, like, maybe if Trump, maybe if you get Trump to endorse it, we'll go back to drinking it. Honestly, stop. You should think that way. Okay. 